you know, it's an exciting day, and it's just as exciting, quite honestly, from a parental standpoint for the parents, uh, certainly for the kids the, themselves, the prospects, the high school coaches, those communities. Uh, for us, we hope that signing day is uneventful and that uh, all everybody actually signs and gets their paperwork done. And, and uh, the good news for us is, is we got that accomplished today. How were the numbers? Excellent. You know, with the limited resources we had, uh, we had a small senior class, which obviously affects – uh, the dollars and scholarship opportunities, but uh, I think when it's all said and done, Fred, I think we've got 22 uh, high school kids, maybe 21 high school national letters of intent today and a transfer kid that's already here. So 22 new guys on scholarship and probably before it's all done, uh, we'll have upwards 10 to 15 and other that uh, that will end up being recruited walk-ons. And you're not just picking kids, you go by need. One of the mm. needs was defensive line, offensive line, and you came up big there. We did. Uh, that was where we put uh, our big focus, as you're very aware of, as you and I talk off the air. Uh, we had four offensive linemen, all offensive tackles, uh, all 6'4", uh, plus 6'4 to 6'6", and uh, 270 to 300-pound kids that move well. So we, we definitely are going to look better getting off the bus. And uh, defensive tackle was another area for long-term uh, success for that unit that we were – went after there and we had three of those kids signed. So seven of our 21 high school kids were, were interior linemen. You've built this program, you'll be able to redshirt a lot of mm. these guys, beef them up a little bit, let them get used to college. Absolutely, you know, last year was was abnormal. I think we had eight true freshmen play and it's, it's a much easier transition, Fred. Really, they talk about skilled players, but the real skill is in the interior. It's much easier transition for a running back. The ball weighs the same. We're doing the same thing with it collegiately as we did high school wise and receiver wise, and even man to man coverage skills and those types of things for defensive backs. But much more difficult, I think, a, a tougher transition, generally speaking, uh, for interior folks. Speaking about offense, what did you come up with uh, on offense this year? Well, we were, able, we were a balanced class offense and defense. Uh, we were balanced, uh, we were able to sign somebody at every position. You know, four offensive linemen, a couple tight ends, signed a fullback, signed a wide receiver, signed a couple tailback athletes. Uh, on defense, we signed uh, three D tackles, we signed a couple D ends, one linebacker, three safeties, and a corner. So, and in a pretty balanced across the board. And we've got uh, a couple institutional, I think, uh, place kickers and maybe a long snapper somewhere along the way. So, Really tried to hit just a little bit of everything to try and keep the cupboard full, so to speak, as we continue to, to build long-term, hopefully long-term success here. Over the last three, four years, you've kept your imprint, recruiting imprint, in the middle part of the state, St. Louis, but you've uh, expanded to Kansas City a little bit more this year and had some success. Really, uh, Fred, that's a good uh, point. It's the first time that we've really actively recruited. Kansas City, uh, you know, we recruited Jordan Salima from Independence High last year, and, and, and we've taken some kids, Garrett White from Liberty, Jared Haferberry from Liberty, uh, just in the recent past, but it's really been spot recruiting. Uh, Chris Symington and Louis Ramirez went into Kansas City this year, and, and uh, you can see by our signings that we had some, uh, bared some, bore some fruit with, with their work over in that area. Let's do this backwards. Now, today, it's recruiting day 2017. You should probably celebrate maybe your class from four years ago from what you did on the field today because you're not going to know until about four years from now, are you? No, absolutely correct. You know, I, I didn't want to politely rebuke you on air. You said today's Christmas. Well, Christmas will be next fall when we open them up. And most of them, uh, some assembly required, which are the worst words that a male can read on Christmas Day, there'll be some assembly required for those guys when they get here, and it'll take a couple of years for us uh, older guys to put, put that, th those things together. 